behind the line. In three, two, one, go. Qual match number 12 over on the Red Alliance, starting strong with three game pieces all scored in the high row. Blue Alliance, one up high, two in the mid, two in the bottom. We also have a Red Alliance robot, 4678 Cyber Cavs engaged on the Red Charge Station. Blue was only able to get a docked robot up on their charge station. That's still going to help out with points, but Red Alliance coming into Teleop with an advantage. Blue Alliance needs to keep up. That docking and charge station action also helps out with the activation bonus later on in the match where an alliance needs to score at least 26 points to get that bonus ranking point from the charge station. Red Alliance has lost their lead uh, somewhat, maybe, because 3175 looks like they were having some connectivity issues. That's night vision. They're back, though, racing off and scoring a cube in a low node for Red. Their partner, Blaze Robotics, right behind them, lifting up with a cone, scoring it in a top node. Night Vision also scoring the second link that the Red Alliance has scored. Each Alliance, because they've gotten their cooperation bonus, which means they've scored at least three game pieces in the center grid, that means they now only need five links in order to get their sustainability bonus. They each have three right now, just kidding. Blue Alliance just scored their fourth. Blue is leading with a minute remaining in this match, 114 to 98. Looks like Night Vision is still coming in and out. Their opponents, Blue Alliance, not waiting around for anyone. 36-41, the Flying Toasters scoring a cone on a mid-node. Their partner, Team Dave, right behind them. Maverick adding another cube to the low node for the Blue Alliance. Blue is up by 25 points with 30 seconds remaining. Night Vision getting ready. They're already engaged on the Red Alliance's charge station for our end game. Just waiting for their partners to come and join them for the balance. 20 seconds remaining. Blue Alliance only needs two more nodes scored in order to get the supercharged node. I think that may be the first one that we may see. They've been double scoring already, and it looks like we have a few poking out, but they may have a supercharged grid. Five seconds remaining, three blue robots trying to balance. They don't quite have it. One, right as time runs out, we've got three blue robots balance and two red robots also engaged on the charge station. An exciting match, maybe our first supercharge match here at IRI. We'll see the scores in just a moment. That match is going to blue. They put up a score of 177 to Red's 152. Another unicorn that's going to get pretty standard here at IRI. Not really a unicorn, I suppose. But the Blue Alliance earned four ranking points. I'm hearing from our scorekeepers and refs that that was not the first supercharge grid we've had here. Uh, that one didn't quite count. There was a game piece that was just outside of being scored. But... That rule is in effect here. If you fill up the grid, you're able to double score on the nodes, just like championship rules. I have no doubt we will see one of those matches soon. Congratulations to our three winning Blue Alliance teams.